Dark Podcast Game of the Year Awards. Best multi-platform game. Exclusive titles find themselves locked to their respective console owners, but games released across multiple platforms will always find themselves faced with not only a larger audience, but often larger quota of units sold. Many games in 2011 were released on the big hitting platforms simultaneously and for the most part all offered the same experience on each one. To be nominated in this category means to be one of the best games available to a wide audience of players, while offering every platform the same level of options, enjoyment, access and visual scale if possible. This year's nominees form the top of this gaming tier. And the nominees are... Batman Arkham City You scary! <laughs> We're about to find out. Battlefield 3. I got it. Oh, let's fuck this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. L.A. Noir. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. And the winner is... Batman Arkham City. This category was easily the hardest choice behind Game of the Year since two games in this category just happen to be masterpieces. Skyrim is the best long-term investment of your time this year, an enriching, joyful, highly detailed experience well deserving of all of its multiple Game of the Year accolades. However, Batman Arkham City surpasses Skyrim's immense variety with a story and atmosphere most games would kill for. The story throughout Batman is dark, gritty, captivating, and directed as opposed to Skyrim's, which evolves around what you do rather than telling a story with increased focus on pacing. The seamless control scheme of Arkham City bests all of the competition this year, and wrapped inside one of gaming's greatest experiences, it's hard to fault as the year's best multi-platform release that everyone somewhere can play. 